So next step, we are going to see example 6.3. This is also a final question. Very, very important problem. By vector method, prove that cos of alpha plus beta equal to cos alpha plus beta minus sin alpha sin beta. Since it involves under trigonometric functions, we know that all the trigonometric functions are bounded between the values minus 1 and plus 1. So if you want to prove any result in the trigonometric function, we can take the unit circle for our proof. Okay? So here also we are going to take the unit circle. Okay? So let us draw a unit circle. Unit circle means the radius of the unit circle is 1. So let us draw a unit circle. So this is the unit circle I am going to take whose center is O. Okay? Next, we are going to take two points on the circle, this point as A and this point as B. If the problem involves in alpha plus beta, you have to take one point in the first quadrant and the other point in the fourth quadrant. Okay? So let me draw a line connecting the O and the point A so that it makes an angle alpha with a positive x-axis. And also if you connect the point O and B, it makes an angle beta with the y-axis, sorry x-axis. Both are making with the positive x-axis, that is the thing. So next what I am going to do is, next thing you have to construct a perpendicular line. So I am going to construct a perpendicular line. This line can be taken as this point as here. And one more construction, you are going to construct another line which is perpendicular to the x-axis from this point. So this point is L and you have to take this point as M. Okay? So this is the thing. Now this angle between OA and OB is nothing but alpha plus beta. This is the angle alpha plus beta. That is the thing. When you are writing the coordinates means this coordinate is cos alpha comma sin alpha and this coordinate is cos beta comma minus sin beta since it lies in the negative y axis. So actually this distance, the distance OL is nothing but cos alpha, the distance LA is nothing but sin alpha in general. In this triangle, the distance, what is that? OM is cos beta and the distance MB is nothing but sin beta since it lies in the negative side, that is minus sin beta. So no need of proving the coordinates. How we are getting the coordinates, no need that proof. So that only I am writing directly in the given problem. Okay. Next thing what I am going to do is, you have to make two three statements, then straight away we can go for that. For the convenient, I am going to take this vector as A gap, since it is a unit vector. And also, this vector can be taken as B gap. This is also a unit vector because the line OA is the radius of the unit circle. What is the radius of the unit circle? 1. So, the modulus value of the vector OA is 1, so we can say that it is a unit vector. That unit vector can be taken as A gap. And this unit vector can be taken as D gap. So one by one let me write the proof. First thing what I am going to do is let us consider. Let us consider a unit circle. Let us consider a unit circle with the center O. With the center O. Next to what I am going to do is I have marked the point A and B. And also the lines OA and OB makes an angle alpha and beta with a positive x-axis. So the lines OA and OB makes, makes angles alpha and beta with a positive x-axis with the positive x-axis and one more thing the distance OA equal to the distance OB equal to 1 because they are all the radii of the unit circle they are all radii of the unit circle next thing what I am going to do is next thing we are going to find the vectors what are all the vectors we are going to find is first I am going to write the vector OA vector now 
And uh, one more thing, you have to mark the unit vectors. Usually, I cap is the unit vector along x axis. And uh, j cap is the unit vector along y axis. Okay? So, this is i cap and this is j cap. And also, this is in opposite direction. So, this is minus j cap. Okay? So, this vector can be taken as minus j cap. And your direction. Now, what I am going to do is, now I am going to write the two vectors. So first let me write the vector OA vector. How to write the OA vector? OA vector starting point is O and ending point is A. Okay? So first you have to start from O and you can reach the point L. After that you have to go to the point A. That is the direction by triangle of vector division. So OA vector can be written as OA vector plus LA vector. So OA vector is equal to OL vector plus LA vector. Next thing, this OA vector can be written as A cap. This OA vector can be written as A cap. Now, if you want to write a vector, means first you have to write the magnitude of the vector. What is the magnitude of the OL vector? Means this is the magnitude of the OL vector. So cos alpha is the magnitude or length. So cos alpha and the corresponding unit vector in that direction. So OL vector direction you are having I cap as the unit vector. So let us take that this is I cap. Okay. Next LA vector. What is LA vector means? You just observe that. This is LA vector which is in upward direction. Here the magnitude is sin alpha and the unit vector corresponding to LA is J cap. So I can write this as sin alpha into J cap. Sin alpha into J cap. Next thing what I am going to write is so you can write that A cap is equal to cos alpha into I cap plus sin alpha into J cap. Okay, this is the vector, first vector you are having. Now, similarly, we are going to find OB vector. So, OB vector is equal to, what is OB vector? You have to start from here and you have to reach this. So, from O to M, then M to B, the direction, downward direction. So, OB vector can be written as OM vector plus MB vector. OM vector plus MB vector. So, OB vector can be written as B cap. OM vector. See that OM vector in this direction whose magnitude is cos beta. Whose magnitude is cos beta and the, the corresponding unit vector is which is same as I cap. So cos beta into I cap plus MB vector. M here and B here. So MB vector means it is in the downward direction whose magnitude is sin beta. Magnitude means length. Length cannot be negative, so don't confuse with the negative sign. So you have to take only the length, the length is sine beta. And the next thing, the unit vector along the direction is minus j cap. So sine beta into minus j cap. So your b cap is equal to cos beta into i cap minus sine beta into j cap. Next thing, what we are going to do is we are going to take the dark product for the two vectors A cap and the B cap. So by the definition, by definition of dark product, by definition of dark product, what is the definition of dark product means? First you have to take the below vector and you have to take the vector which is above. So when you are taking dark product, this can be taken as B cap dot A cap. Since dark product is commutative, one can, one can take this as A cap dot B cap also. Okay, no problem with that. So first as per the definition, I am going to write this as modulus of B cap, modulus of A cap in the cos of the angle. What is the angle means? Alpha plus beta is the angle. So cos of alpha plus beta. Since it is unit vector, the values are 1. So we are having that B cap dot A cap is equal to when your value is 1 into 1. So you will be left with the cos of alpha plus beta. So this is the result. I am going to take this as first one. Okay. Now by the value, 
by value. We know how to find the value for a dark product. Okay. So now we are going to find the value B cap dot A cap. So how to find the value for dark product means you have to multiply the numbers. First B cap. So what is the first number in B cap means? I cap in front of I cap you are having cos B cap. You have to multiply this number with the number present in the next vector that is A cap. When you are multiplying this cos beta into cos alpha. So you can multiply this, so you can get that cos alpha into cos beta. Okay? Similarly, you just multiply the numbers with the components of J cap. When you are multiplying the number, here you are having sin alpha. Here you are having minus sin beta. When you are multiplying this, you will get that minus sin alpha into sin beta. So this is equation number 2. When you observe the equations 1 and 2 from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, what you are having? The left hand sides are same. Since the left hand sides are same, we can say that right sides are equal. So we can prove that cos of alpha plus beta, which is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta. So this is the proof what we are going to prove. So listen here, I have simplified many things. I have not written the coordinates there since it, did not, it does not carry marks. So there is no mark for the coordinates. Coordinates are useful in writing the vectors. Okay. Next thing, I have just simplified your proof. Okay. That is the thing. You just remember this.